It's real. The leaks are no longer whispers or fan-made wish lists. Apple is officially back with one of the most unexpected moves of the year. For months, analysts and insiders had claimed that Apple was done with hardware for 2025. No October event, no new releases, see you next year in March. But they were wrong. A newly surfaced production manifest from deep within Apple's supply chain has revealed something big. Not a small product refresh or silent update, but a full-scale Apple November event. And what's inside that manifest changes everything we thought we knew about Apple's 2025 strategy. This isn't about a new color for the iPhone or another set of AirPods. No, this is something else. This event is shaping up to redefine Apple's forgotten ecosystem, the smaller products that have sat quietly on the sidelines while the iPhone and Mac took center stage. According to the leaked document, Apple is preparing to announce three major devices. The long-awaited AirTag 2, the reimagined HomePod Mini 2, and the completely rebuilt Apple TV 2025. At first glance, it looks like three unrelated products. But dig deeper, and the real story emerges, these aren't separate launches at all. Their three interconnected pillars of a new system Apple is quietly building, the foundation for their spatial computing world. These devices are designed to work together as one. The AirTag 2 extends Apple's location and tracking capabilities into the real world. The HomePod Mini 2 acts as the intelligent brain that ties everything together. And the Apple TV 2025 brings that entire system into your living room, the bridge between Apple's physical devices and its growing ecosystem of AI, entertainment, and spatial computing. This is Apple's next chapter, and it starts now. Let's begin with the most requested upgrade AirTag 2. When Apple launched the original AirTag, it looked like a perfect idea. A tiny, elegant tracker you could attach to anything and instantly find through your iPhone. But as millions of users quickly discovered, it had two serious flaws. Its range was too short, and its speaker was too weak. Yes, it could tell you that your lost keys were somewhere in your house. But when it came to actually finding them, you were still walking around listening for a faint chirp coming from somewhere under the couch. And that wasn't even the biggest issue. The AirTag also faced major criticism for its stalking and privacy vulnerabilities. Its small speaker could be easily muffled or disabled, turning it into a dangerous tool for bad actors. Apple tried to fix these issues through software updates and system alerts, but the hardware itself was limited. Until now. The new AirTag 2, confirmed in this leak, solves both of these problems with one massive upgrade, a second-generation ultra-wideband chip, known as the U2. If that name sounds familiar, it's because Apple quietly introduced this chip in the iPhone 15 lineup earlier this year. But until now, no one really knew its purpose. This is it. The U2 chip completely transforms how AirTags work. With the old U1 chip, you got a range of about 30 feet decent for close tracking but nowhere near enough for real-world use. The U2 changes that. Reports from Apple's supply partners suggest that the new AirTag 2 could achieve a range of up to 200 feet or more, a six-fold improvement. Think about that for a moment. You could track your suitcase while it's still on the airplane. You could locate your backpack from across the campus parking lot. You could even find your pet in the yard without needing to step outside. This is not just an upgrade in range, it's a paradigm shift in precision tracking. Apple calls this new feature extended precision finding, and it redefines what a personal tracker can do. In practical terms, it means your iPhone will be able to give you a real-time directional arrow, not just nearby or somewhere around, but an exact 3D path that points straight to your lost item. The combination of the U2 chip and Apple's massive Find My network makes this possible, and it's going to make the AirTag 2 the most powerful consumer tracking device on the planet. But range isn't the only improvement. The second big fix is the speaker redesign. Apple seems to have learned from the past. The AirTag 2 now comes with what the manifest calls a tamper-resistant speaker. Unlike the first generation, which had a tiny, removable module, the new version's speaker is sealed in. Oh the device's structure. You can't muffle it, you can't remove it, and you can't disable it without visibly breaking the entire device. It's louder, more durable, and designed to alert anyone nearby if the tag is being misused. 
Apple clearly wants to eliminate the privacy concerns that surrounded the first model and rebuild trust in the product. Another small but meaningful improvement comes with battery management. The AirTag 2 will still use a replaceable CR2032 battery, a good decision that keeps it convenient for users, but now, iOS will provide multiple battery alerts. Instead of a single, low battery warning that appears once and disappears, you'll get a two-stage system, a low and a very low notification, giving you time to replace the battery before it dies completely. It's a simple fix but one that improves the overall reliability of the device. Interestingly, Apple hasn't changed the AirTag's iconic design. It's still that small, smooth, puck-shaped disc, the same size and weight, compatible with all existing keychains and holders. That's classic Apple, refining the internals while keeping the exterior familiar. And while some people might have hoped for a rechargeable version, Apple's choice to stay with replaceable batteries makes sense. No charging cables, no downtime, just a quick swap, and it's ready again. But here's where things get really interesting. The question isn't just what the AirTag 2 can do, but why Apple wants this much power in such a small tracker? Why does Apple want a device that can locate something from 200 feet away with near-perfect accuracy? The answer lies in the future of Apple's ecosystem, specifically, the Vision Pro. Apple isn't upgrading the AirTag just to help you find your keys. It's preparing it to serve as a spatial anchor in the upcoming spatial computing world. Imagine putting on your Vision Pro headset and seeing a floating digital marker hovering over your lost item in real space. You could literally walk toward it guided by a 3D arrow visible through your headset. You could see through walls, identify rooms, or even find your cat using spatial tags displayed right in front of your eyes. The AirTag 2 is no longer just a tracking accessory, it's a spatial sensor, a key part of how Apple's devices will interact with physical environments in the Vision OS ecosystem. But to make that vision work, to make this massive ultra-wideband network function seamlessly, Apple needs something else. It needs a hub. A device that stays on all the time, inside your home, constantly connected to your network and your devices. That's where the HomePod Mini 2 comes in. For years, the HomePod Mini has been one of Apple's most ignored products. It launched in 2020 and hasn't received a meaningful update since. Meanwhile, competitors like Amazon and Google have continued refining their smart speakers with better AI and faster assistance. So why did Apple let the HomePod Mini sit untouched for so long? The answer is timing. Apple was waiting for the right chip, and according to the leak, that chip is finally here. The new HomePod Mini 2 will be powered by the S9 chip, the same one found in the Apple Watch Series 9. On the surface, that may not sound like a big deal but this is a huge leap from the old model's outdated S5 processor. The S9 is built for on-device intelligence, featuring a much more advanced neural engine capable of real-time processing without relying on the cloud. What that means is simple, Siri is about to finally get smart. The pattern is starting to emerge. Apple is not just updating products, it's assembling a puzzle. The AirTag 2 manages your physical world. The HomePod Mini 2 gives that world intelligence and structure. Together, they form a powerful system that can track, locate, and respond with unprecedented accuracy. But there's still one more piece missing, the screen, the interface, the window that connects everything together. And that brings us to the third product on the list, the one that may be Apple's most surprising move in years, Apple TV 2025. For a long time, the Apple TV has been a strange product in Apple's lineup. Expensive, capable, but directionless. It could stream Netflix and Apple TV+, Plus, sure, but so could a $40 Fire Stick. Most users saw it as a luxury they didn't need. Even Apple itself seemed to treat it as a hobby rather than a priority. But all of that changes now. The new Apple TV isn't just a refresh, it's a reboot. According to the leaked documentation, Apple is calling it the Apple TV 2025, and it's being built around the A17 Pro chip, the same powerhouse processor found in the iPhone 15 Pro. That alone tells you this is no ordinary streaming box. The A17 Pro brings hardware-accelerated ray tracing and desktop-level graphics performance to the living room. And that changes everything. The Apple TV 2025 isn't about watching shows anymore, it's about gaming. Real gaming. Console-level gaming. 
The kind of high-end experiences that Apple promised years ago with Apple Arcade but never delivered. The A17 Pro is capable of running titles like Resident Evil Village and Death Stranding at impressive quality levels. Now imagine that performance on your 80-inch television, powered by a device the size of a coaster. That's Apple's plan. And just like that, the Apple TV transforms from a simple streamer into a console killer. Apple is directly challenging Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo not with a bulky game console, but with a tiny, silent device that fits in the palm of your hand. But that's just one layer of the story. The A17 Pro chip also supports on-device Apple intelligence, just like the HomePod Mini 2. This means Siri on your TV is about to become more powerful than ever before. You could ask it, show me all sci-fi movies from the past five years with a Rotten Tomatoes score above 80%, and it would instantly filter your streaming services to find them. No more endless scrolling. Just clear, intelligent recommendations powered by local AI. However, that's not even the biggest reveal. The real surprise is that the Apple TV 2025 includes a built-in camera, something Apple has avoided for years. This camera unlocks a whole new set of possibilities, FaceTime calls directly from your couch, Zoom meetings on your big screen, and Apple Fitness Plus sessions with real-time motion tracking. You'll no longer need to prop your iPhone against a lamp or use continuity camera. The Apple TV itself becomes a smart communication hub. And, of course, that camera will integrate deeply with Vision Pro and Apple's spatial computing ecosystem. It won't just see you, it will understand your space, detect movement, and serve as another spatial awareness sensor inside your home. Everything starts connecting now. The AirTag 2 brings location data. The HomePod Mini 2 processes it with AI and anchors it in your environment. The Apple TV 2025 visualizes it on the biggest screen in your home. Together, they create a living spatial network, one that blends the physical and digital worlds. This is not a random lineup. It's a deliberate, strategic move Apple's transition from individual gadgets to a unified, intelligent system. And that's only the beginning.